That news breaking that uh, Boris Johnson, the Foreign Secretary, has also resigned from Theresa May's cabinet. There were mutterings here in Westminster uh, because nobody had heard from him. It was well known over the weekend with the use of some choice language that he had objected to certain, to, objected to certain parts of Theresa May's proposals after the Chequers summit using some rather choice language to describe, describe the deal on offer. But after David Davis's resignation last night of Boris Johnson, there was no sign. And people were beginning to think that something was afoot. He was scheduled to appear at a Balkans uh, meeting uh, hosted here in London. It, indeed, his outriders were waiting and had waited for two and a half hours. They hadn't been told that he simply wouldn't be coming out because he was making what will turn out to be a momentous decision. Let's talk to our... Uh, correspondent uh, Norman Smith who joins me now. Where does this leave Theresa May? It totally changes the whole nature of today. Previously we had a high profile resignation from David Davis that raised question marks about Mrs May's Brexit strategy. Boris Johnson's resignation raises question marks about Theresa May's survival. This now becomes a leadership story rather than I would suggest just a Brexit story because talking to uh, Brexiteers, Tory Brexiteers this lunchtime and I was asking them whether there was going to be a challenge against Mrs May. They were very, very wary of going down that road for two reasons. One, they weren't sure they had the numbers, but two, they didn't have a candidate. They had no one credible to challenge Mrs May. Now they do. And speaking to Jacob Rees-Mogg, he said to me that what Boris Johnson decided to do was going to be crucial. So I imagine this totally changes the dynamic and the real fear now from number 10's perspective, will not be whether there is going to be a stand-up fight over the Chequers plan, but whether there is going to be a concerted move to unseat Theresa May uh, by the Brexiteers with Boris Johnson in the lead. And that is where this story is now going.